ask and you shall receive. Um, game four was dramatic, first of all. Um, but it was actually kind of discouraging to me. You know, that was our best offensive showcase this whole series. And we barely won. So that says a lot about our pitching moving forward. You know, um, Javier did amazing. Um, Granky did pretty good. He gave up one mistake to a Rosarena, and I got really mad. Like, if you look at my Twitter, I said Granky to the bullpen, which I don't, I don't know if that's necessarily the worst idea, to be honest. Um, and, um, hold on, what was I gonna say? <laughs> what was I gonna say? Oh, yeah, Altuve, you know, at the ninth inning, he's good at hitting. No one said he wasn't. I think he should DH because at that ninth inning, he hesitated a bit. He was a little, he was kind of overthinking, and that's what leads to errors. That's what I think led to error number two and three. Just overthinking about making that throw, and people call it the yips. <laughs> I don't like that word, but yeah. To recap, you know, Altuve after making an error yesterday, he homers again today, four hundred feet. It was good, but as we all knew, everybody knew, it wasn't enough, you know. He hit a double again later on. I don't know where, when again. I forgot, but <laughs> I'm stuttering so bad right now. Um, and then it was the man on second and third, and Bregman couldn't drive him in again. So we got we to gotta really capitalize at these runners in scoring position, especially then a single would have made two runs. So... Just capitalize on that. Bregman finally got a hit. I don't know if it was his first hit of the series. But it was probably his softest hit of the series too. It was just a tapper down the line. Zunino rushed into it. Couldn't get it. Almost. Well, he did throw it offline and almost got Bregman to second or third. So good job by the Rays to cover up. The Rays, their defense has been immaculate this whole season, uh, series. They made one play that obviously you don't expect them to make. They almost made it. They didn't. That brought Maldonado in. Springer brought him to second. And then Brantley and Altuve. We, we, we know the deal. Um, so we did good there in driving in runs with two outs. But we got to do better. We could do better. And if we do, you know, I still don't think we're going <laughs> to... I don't think we're gonna come, we're gonna come back from this, but we have a chance, you know. We're not dead yet. You need four. It should be three to one Astros right now. If you know, if we could actually capitalize with runners in scoring position in game one, Altuve didn't make that error in game two. It would be three one Astros. It is what it is. This team, I generally think this team is equal to the Rays. And the numbers aren't showing it right now, but they are really equal. Um, before today, actually, I thought they were the Astros were much better than the Rays, but the Rays put up a fight when the Astros put up a fight, and now they they just look equal to us. And we don't even know who's going to pitch tomorrow yet, so that's going to be trouble. If it goes to Game Six, it's going to be for Ambravades, according to Dusty Baker, which means Lance McCullers for Game Seven. I'm hopeful about that, but we still got to get through game five first. And then game six, last time Bromber pitched, we didn't give him run support. We need to give him run support. If we do that, we could go to seven. Lance, we got to give him a good defense, and then we could hopefully make that comeback. But I, I still kind of doubt it. I'm really hoping this video ages horribly, but, you know, it is what it is. I'll see y'all for tomorrow's either a recap or it's going to be a video that I made earlier today about what the Astros should do if, during the offseason. So I'll see y'all.